Let's get back to that breaking news now out of the district. At least three people are dead after a car went into the Anacostia. We've had a crew on the scene all night as recovery efforts have unfolded. Our Matt Gregory is there now. Uh, Matt, I know you just got an update from first responders on the scene not long ago. What's the latest? I mean, the latest right now is going to be, Annie, that uh, the car was just pulled from the Anacostia River, but tragically, three people, uh, as you can see, by the way, over my shoulder, the flashing lights across the river were on the Nat Parks side of uh, the Anacostia. Three people dead, one inside the car, two found around the car. Let's take you to the latest from what we saw. This is a little over an hour ago. That's when you can see rescue crews pulling the vehicle from the uh, Anacostia River. But this whole scene, this rescue attempt started much, much earlier, around 1030 last night. That's when uh, fire and rescue crews say they got the call from witnesses saying that a vehicle had gone off the east side of the river, so on the Anacostia side and into the river. Now. It took crews a little bit of time to actually get a hold of them and to get uh, to find out where the vehicle was. Initially, they were told it was at near the 11th Street Bridge. No, it was closer to the Frederick Douglass Memorial Bridge. Helicopters were searching as well as boats, and eventually they were able to find the vehicle submerged near the Frederick Douglass Memorial Bridge. Divers were able to find inside the vehicle one person. That person has died. They also, while doing subsequent searches, found two other people's bodies around the vehicle. They were able to take them from the river too. And this is where we're at in the investigation so far. As you can see, we're we're not allowed over in this area that's far across the river from them uh, from the scene right now, but we're still working with police to get the latest information. So what we're looking for this morning, why did the vehicle go into the river? That's obviously the main question that everyone has had. We're working with police to get that one. We're also asking who were the people who were found and what was the relationship between the two people found around the vehicle? Were they in the vehicle? Had they uh, been near it? What had happened? We're trying to work on that this morning. We will get that information to you throughout the morning. We'll be updating it. But like I said, the vehicle that had gone into the river over an hour, a little over an hour ago, pulled from the Anacostia River, and we're still getting the latest details here on WSA 9. And you can find it on our website for the latest on the story, WSA9.com. But for now, in uh, by the Anacostia River, I'm Matt Gregory. We're going to send it over to Lindsay to give you traffic updates because this will impact the morning commute. Yeah, thank you so much, Matt. Really terrifying situation there in Southeast DC. So let's take you to where this is exactly on the maps. We're going to be over the Anacostia River where Matt was just reporting from. And thankfully, uh, MPD has told us that we don't have any roads completely closed down, but we do have one lane of traffic completely blocked off and it probably will be for a few hours, which could impact your morning commute. So this is going to be right beneath the Douglas Bridge, but thankfully we have plenty of options nearby. You can hop onto 695 in either direction instead, or even Pennsylvania Avenue Southeast.